Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 66.5. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 63 to 66. Hey, this question came from Bella. She says, I'm creating um, some divisions and then I'm taking an average of all of those divided values. Here's the result totals and here's the uh, participants. So result divided by participants. That one worked fine, she said. But then she came over here and she wanted to pre-make her formulas. And I actually have the, the final formulas we're going to use up there at the top. But here's what she did. She highlighted this whole range and at the cell at the top she said equals this divided by this and then control enter to pop uh oh divide by zero that's a divide by zero that means you can't divide by zero and then here she did equals average and she wanted to average all these now she wanted to pre-make these templates now I'm going to show you three different solutions um, one two of them will work in any version one of them will work just in Excel 2007 hey let's now I'm going to highlight this whole range right here and in the cell at the top I'm going to hit F2 and I'm going to ask whether or not this cell is equal to zero uh, or empty blank if open parentheses if this cell right here equals zero because there's nothing there we'll do that one then I want blank otherwise I'll take that thing right there now this assumes that you'll be entering it this one first, then this one. You could use an AND here and check whether both of them are zero. If they're both zero, then uh, forget it. We're not going to calculate. But this one will assume that they're entering this and then this. Now I'm going to control enter and that got rid of that. Hey, but what about this one? I'm going to click here. And why don't we try an array formula here? Equals if open parentheses AND and we'll highlight the whole range. Ooh, that doesn't come out very well in the, uh, I'm going to get rid of that green formatting. Home bucket and say no fill. Then I'm going to hit F2. Oh, I got the font color too. Look at that. I need to click uh, here and then say uh, automatic. I'm going to hit F2. Actually, I'm just going to start uh, typing equals if open parentheses and and we'll highlight the whole range if all of those are equal to blank then we want blank here otherwise we'll take the average and I'll highlight this whole range so that way as soon as this will deliver I don't have a close parentheses right there this will deliver a bunch of falses but as soon as one of them becomes true then we'll switch over to the average I'm gonna have to hold control and shift and then hit enter to enter that formula now it's suggesting I made some error I always click no because it does not always guess right I'm gonna click no and then click OK and then look at my formula sure enough I forgot the last parentheses for the if close parentheses now hold control shift and enter now let's test it let's put a, a one and then a two there it is a two and then a one so now it's 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 working just fine now let's look at another way to do this and uh, this will be in a ver the a method that works in all versions I'm going to highlight the, all of the cells and in the light color cell up at the top equals if open parentheses now we need to check this division and there's an is error is error function and this one is in all versions so we need to check and the is error delivers a true or a false hey this divided by this it's checking to see notice I can't click right there so now I'm going to use my arrow key or type in n9 close parentheses that's the first argument in the if that is error looks there and it tells you is it an error or is it not true or false which is what we need for our logical test and then comma if that is an error then I want double quote double quote for blank otherwise by putting a comma and I'll just do my m9 divided by n9 again I'm gonna copy and paste close parentheses that formula will work all the way down control enter now I'm going to do the same formula down here equals if open parentheses I've got to do the same thing again with that terrible green equals if is error 
Is what an error? The average, average of all of these, if that's an error. Notice I had to do that function inside of this is error, so I need to close it off with a green one. If that's an error, what do I want here? Comma, blank. Otherwise, I want my average. In 2007, you just double click. You, you have to type it all out if you're in earlier versions. And then highlight that range. Close parentheses. I got a green one. Now I need a final close parentheses black one on that if. Can, uh, just enter. And that'll work. Let's test it. Five, six. 12, 1. Ooh, wow, that's pretty big. So there it is. All right, let's finally see a, a way to do this in 2007. Equals if error. And the value we're checking is this one. One cell, two cells to my left to divide it by. Oh, I can't click on it again, so I'm going to use my arrow key. If, um, if that, if error, that. Comment, it just needs to know what to put in the cell if there is no error. I'm going to put blank, close parentheses. See how that is much easier, and that function is new in 2007. Control Enter, and now I have to copy this one down. I have to point to my fill handle and copy down. Then I'll do the same thing here. Equals if error, average, all of those, close parentheses. Ooh, yuck. You can see it up here. If that's an error, comma, and then double quotes, close parentheses. Control Enter. I'm going to get rid of that formatting. Put it into edit mode. There's the formula right there. Control Enter, and we'll test it. Two, one, 15, and there were seven. And sure enough, it works. So there it is. There's three different ways to get rid of errors when um, not show the errors that result from a formula evaluating to an error. All right, we'll see you next trick.